ever feel like you're drowning in information? Oh, yeah. Like just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and never actually getting anywhere. Totally. Like trying to speed read a mountain of articles. You no, know? Yes. Like your brain just hits a wall. <laughs> it's a wall. Totally. Well, imagine that, but for AI. Ooh, that's rough. That's what we're diving into today. Okay. This idea that one of the biggest hurdles in AI is actually the same one that we face. Just too much information. Right. And it's interesting because, like you said, it's not just that there's a lot of information out there. Right. It's that it's hard to filter out the noise to focus on what's actually important. Exactly. And that's where this research paper comes in. Um, it's called uh, Differential Transformer. Okay. And it's by uh, Tian Zie and a whole team of researchers at uh, Microsoft Research and Tsinghua University. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. This is... Uh, this is some high level stuff. I'll be honest, when I first skimmed through it, I was like, whoa, this is dense. But once I got past some of the technical jargon, there's some really cool stuff here about a potential breakthrough in AI. Yeah, and what's so fascinating about this is that it's tackling a really fundamental problem with the current gold standard in AI, the transformer model. Okay. Which, don't get me wrong, transformer models, they're powerful. Right. But they can be, I don't know, like that friend who listens to a long rambling story and they completely miss the point. Oh, yeah. Because they just get so lost in the noise. They're trying to find a needle in a haystack, uh -huh. but the haystack is made of words and they just keep getting distracted by pieces of hay. Exactly. And that's the crux of it. It's like, how do you get these AI models to be more discerning, to zero in on what truly matters? So how does this differential transformer do that? What makes it different? Well, imagine being able to give those AI models noise-canceling headphones. Okay. That's essentially what the differential transformer, or BIF transformer for short, does. It uses this really clever technique where it calculates the difference between two sets of attention scores. So attention scores. Break that down for me like I'm five. You got it. So <laughs> picture this. The AI is reading a document, right? Okay. Each word, each phrase gets an attention score. This score basically reflects how much weight the AI is giving to that specific piece of information. So it's like highlighting the important sentences in a textbook. Exactly. It's like this yeah. This is important. Pay attention to this. Okay. Now here's the trick with the DIF transformer. It compares two different sets of these highlights and then it subtracts the common areas of focus. Okay. That subtraction, that's key. Okay. That's what cancels out the noise. Oh, I see. It's basically saying, okay, these are the things that both sets of highlights agree on, so those are probably important, but let's really focus on what's different, what stands out. Wow. So it's like subtracting the background chatter so we can focus on the actual conversation. Finding that signal in all the noise, that's brilliant. Yeah. But what does that actually mean? What's the benefit of all this noise canceling for how the AI performs? Well, one of the most immediate benefits is efficiency. Okay. We're talking about the DIF transformer achieving the same level of performance as traditional models, but using way less computing power. How much less are we talking? About 65% less. That's huge. Deutsch. Right. Not only does that mean that things can run faster, but it also means less energy consumption. Ah, you know? absolutely. Which is a big deal when you think about the environmental impact of all of this complex computing. Oh, absolutely. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the advantages of this technology. So not only is this differential transformer super efficient, but it also has some really fascinating applications. Like the paper mentioned something called long context mastery, which sounds pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's like, you know how sometimes you're talking to someone and they reference something you said like ages ago. Yeah. And you're like, how do you even remember that? Right. That's kind of what we're talking about here. The DIF transformer is really, really good at remembering details from way back in a conversation or a long document. So it's like it has a photographic memory, but for text. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Which can be incredibly useful in a lot of areas. Yeah, I can see that. Like... Imagine if you could feed it a huge legal document or a complex scientific study. It could analyze all that information, even if the important points are scattered throughout the text. Exactly, yeah. And it could pull out those key insights without getting bogged down by the less important details. I would imagine never having to search for an old email again. Like, you could just ask your email client to find that one message from years ago and boom. Oh, yeah. Instant recall. Speaking of finding that needle in a haystack, the paper also highlighted how good DIF Transformer is at what's called key information retrieval. Give me an example. How needle in a haystack are we talking? Okay, so imagine you've got a massive database, right? Filled <laughs> with tons of information about different cities. Population numbers, geographical data, all sorts of stuff. 
Okay, yeah. And you need to find one very specific number. Okay. Tied to one specific city, buried somewhere in all of that data. That sounds like a nightmare to search for manually. It is. It's like trying to find a single grain of sand on a beach. Yeah. But this is where the DIF transformer really shines. It excels at that kind of pinpoint accuracy. It can quickly and accurately find that exact piece of information you need, even if it's surrounded by a ton of irrelevant data. So it's not just about remembering everything, it's about knowing what to ignore. Exactly. And that brings us to another really important point, which is hallucinations. Right. The elephant in the room. AI making stuff up. Exactly. Does this new technology help with that at all? It does. And this is one of the big deals about it. Remember how we were talking about how good the DIF transformer is at focusing on the right information? Yeah. That laser focus makes it much less likely to hallucinate, less likely to misinterpret things or just invent things that aren't actually there. So it's like a more reliable narrator. Exactly. You can trust that it's going to stay on topic. Exactly. And that's what makes this technology so promising. It's not just about making AI smarter. Yeah. It's about making it more trustworthy. Right. Because we're relying on these models to process information, potentially make decisions. Absolutely. And there are a couple other really big advantages that I want to touch on. Okay. The DIF transformer is also a much faster learner than previous models. Like it picks up on patterns, it learns from examples so quickly. So it's like the star student in the class yeah. who only has to hear the lesson once and they've got it. Precisely. Okay. The other thing that's really, really exciting about this technology is that it has the potential to be used on much smaller devices. Like our phones and smartwatches. Yes, yes. exactly. Right. Yeah. And that's because it's what we call highly quantizable. Quantizable. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to break that one down for me. So basically, it means that we could potentially shrink the DIF transformer down, make it small enough, make it efficient enough to run on something like your phone, your watch, something that fits in your pocket. So instead of needing these huge data centers to run these complex AI models, mm -hmm. you could have that same power on a device that you carry around with you every day. Exactly. An AI assistant on my wrist that can actually keep up with me and find that email I sent back in like 2017. Sign me up. Yeah. This differential transformer really does sound like it could be a game changer. Yeah, it has huge potential and on so many levels, which is exciting. And you know what I find particularly interesting? What's that? This whole idea of like subtracting the noise to get to the core of the information. Mm -hmm. It makes you wonder if there are lessons there for us humans. Oh, absolutely. Like, what if we could all just be a little better at filtering out the distractions in our lives? Right. Find that inner DIF transformer. I think we'd all be a little better off, more efficient for sure seriously but it's so fascinating how uh how this ai research often mirrors human cognition oh it's uncanny right and i think that's what makes it so exciting it's not just about building smarter machines it's about this incredible feedback loop we learn from them they learn from us yeah, exactly. and who knows what other breakthroughs are waiting to be discovered as we go deeper that's the beauty of a good deep dive right Always more to explore. It always leaves us with more to explore. Mm -hmm. Thanks for uh, taking this journey with us today. Until next time, keep those brains engaged and those questions coming.